Bethlehem in Judea, during the 36th year of the reign of Herod the Great. Eight, nine, ten. Your rent is paid to the end of the month. May your shop prosper. I have many orders. Well, go right ahead. Don't let me interrupt you. I was just down collecting my rent from Joel, the coppersmith, and I said to myself, why not drop in on your new tenant and see how he's doing? Looks as though you have enough work for uh, two men. Oh, yes, but I'll be able to handle it myself. Well, not for long, not if you stay here. We've been needing a clever woodworker since old Eliezer died. You'll make an excellent living, what with the hometown work and uh, the commissions from barrels and boxes and for the travelers. Well, my shop in Nazareth was on the caravan route, too. Faced right on the... Nazareth? You're not still thinking of going back there. Well, it's my home. My wife's home, too. We'd be there still if it hadn't been for the census taking. The best thing that ever happened to you, believe me. And I say that because I mean it. Not just to keep this building rented. Why, a fine shop and home is this? I can rent ten times a month. A double the sum, I ask. Truly, I speak from my heart. Out of an old man's interest in you, your good wife, and fine young son. Now, if you'll just take my advice... The best thing that ever happened to you, believe me. Think of your son, your firstborn. Do you want him to grow up in Galilee, a back country, know nothing? Well, there are wise rabbis in Nazareth, too. Some of the very best. Ah, but here you are a mere morning's walk from Jerusalem. From the great temple, the very center of culture, the wisest men of our people. Your son could even study at their feet, become a scribe, God willing. That would fill you with pride, eh? More than make your dreams come true. My son's future will be as Jehovah wills it. Amen. Will you do us the honor of sharing our supper? Yes, we'd be most pleased if you would. Why, uh, uh, no, no, I can't. Uh, my son's wife grumbles all evening if I... Some other time, thank you. Oh, I had no idea. The hour was so late, I'll have to be going. But think over what I've been saying, young man. Think over what I've been saying. Would you like some figs? No, no thanks. I was talking with the innkeeper's wife at the well today. Oh? She said that this place had been empty all summer. That Eli was crowing over the fact that he had finally rented it. Yes, I'm afraid his interest is more in his purse than for our future. But still... If you want to go back to Nazareth, I'll be happy in Nazareth. If you choose to stay here, I'll be happy here. If only I knew what was best for the child. Ever since I was a boy, I can remember hearing Judeans boast, if a man would be rich, let him go to the north. If he would be wise, let him come south. But we know that there are those in Galilee who are poor. And not all in Judea are wise. I'd rather listen to the words of David. Promotion come neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge. Well, at any rate, there's no need to decide tonight. 
In a week, we shall take our son to Jerusalem. His ordinance of redemption at the great temple. And your right of purification. I've been richly blessed. No. There's nothing to be frightened of. I know, but it's so... so big. Sir, but could you? Welcome. Welcome in the name of the Lord. Thank you. My wife and I... My name is Simeon. Please, may I see the child? Long ago, the Holy Spirit revealed to me that I should not see death until I had seen the large Christ with my own eyes. Blessed be the mercy of God. Lord, now let us thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared in the presence of all people a light for the revelation of the Gentile and for the glory of thy people, Israel. May his blessings be upon you. May his light shine upon you. For behold, this child is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel, that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed. A two, a sword will pierce through your own soul. Thanks be to the Lord Jehovah. Our thanks to him for what we have seen this day. Who are you? And why do you bring this child to the house of the Lord Jehovah? I am Joseph Bar Jacob, and this is my wife, Mary. The child is my firstborn, and his name is Jesus. Is the babe without blemish? He is. Place the child upon the altar. It has been written that when Abraham so placed his firstborn upon the altar and was prepared to sacrifice his beloved son to the Lord Jehovah, the angel of the Lord called out from heaven saying, Abraham, Abraham, lay not thy hand upon the lad nor do anything unto him. For now I know thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham a second time and said, by myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, that because thou hast done this thing, and hast not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed, as the stars of the heaven, as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gates of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed, because thou hast obeyed my voice. May the blessings of Jehovah fall upon this child, firstborn of the seed of the seed of Abraham. And even as Abraham's son was redeemed and returned to his father, so may this child be by token redeemed and returned unto his parents. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen.
when they entered the gates, I knew. Yes, even before I saw the child, my heart felt peace. Just as it is written on the scrolls, a star has come out of Jacob. A scepter has risen from Israel. And out of Jacob has come he who will have dominion. The child's parents, you say, were just ordinary people? They were, like us. A child, just like any other child? Yes. And what makes you so sure? I... I knew. The good woman Anna knew, too. But how? How do you know when love comes to your heart? How do you know when fear leaves you and contentment enters your mind? From the moment they entered the temple gate, I knew. Yes, even before I saw the child. And then, when I held him in my arms, the words of Isaiah seemed to be sounding in my ears. Unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. And the government shall be on his shoulder. And his name shall be called the mighty God, the Prince of Peace. Oh, I could talk all night of the glory of this day. But it's growing late. In just time. a minute. What you have told us just now, don't tell every man you meet. Would you have me keep the coming of the Messiah a secret? If the child is the Messiah, yes. Grandfather wouldn't have said he was unless he was sure. I'm not arguing what he thinks. Worship him all you wish here with us. But don't go shouting your tidings through the streets. But if it's true... Is the child of the Herodian line? Of course not. Uh, He's there, a... Dora. There may be something in what Joel says. Maybe. I only repair the sandals for the palace guards. But my ears hear plenty of Herod's gentle love for any who threaten his dynasty. He came to the throne by slaughter. Stayed on it by murder. Preserves it now for his breed by assassination. Let him hear one word of a new prince. A rival to the house of Herod. Oh, the house! Does the road through this gate lead to the palace? Just a caravan asking directions. Grandfather. Yes, my dear? If the child is the Messiah, could even Herod have the power to harm him? I... I don't know. He is such a little child. But don't worry. I shall be careful of whom I tell. You'd better warn that widow woman, too. Anna? Yes. First thing in the morning. Good. If the child is the Messiah, and I'm not saying he isn't, the less Herod knows about it, the better. Where was the caravan from? Arabia, judging by their accents. But it wasn't a caravan. Oh? No. Just three travelers on camels asking the way to the palace. Your Excellencies. Your Majesty, the learned envoys from the lands to the east, their Excellencies Melchior, Gaspar, Balthazar. Welcome to the land of Israel. We are undeserving of your gracious hospitality. My aide tells me you have gifts to offer of some sort. Unworthy trifles, Your Majesty. Merely token specimens to bespeak the friendship and respect of our homelands. Your modesty credits your sovereigns. I'll be most pleased to accept your gifts. Uh, but, Your Majesty, this is most we embarrassing, you understood, Your Majesty. King. Come, come, speak up. Haven't you them with you? The fact of the matter is, Your Majesty, our poor gifts are for the new king. The new king? What new king? He whose coming is written in the stars. The new king of the Jews. Surely your court astrologers have divined the portents. Yes, yes, they, they probably have. 
You see, I've just returned from the baths at Kalo Rowe. But I doubt that my advisors are apt at interpreting such signs as you are. Just who is this successor to my throne? We thought you could tell us that, Your Majesty. That is why we sought this audience. I see. The stars did not give names, Your Majesty. Only that a great new king would appear. We thought that you would know and tell us, Your Majesty. Of course, of course. Pelinus, see that our guests are given quarters worthy of their state. I will speak with my advisors and find out what they have learned. Upon Herod sent to the temple, summoning the high priests and the scribes of the people. His Majesty Herod the Great, King of all Israel. When I sent for the most learned priests of the temple, I hardly expected so many. Actually, the matter at hand is too trivial for such a distinguished delegation. We were only told to come, Your Majesty. Not the reason for the summons. Yes. While at the baths, I had a small argument with a certain nobleman about the sacred writings of our people. Do they foretell where the Messiah will be born? Yes. In Bethlehem of Judea. Oh. It is written by the prophet. And thou, Bethlehem, land of Judah, art in no wise least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come forth a governor, which shall be shepherd of my people Israel. You're all agreed? Yes, you may. Yeah. You may go. Bring me those three star interpreters. I have the information you seek, if your calculations are correct. There can be no doubt, Your Majesty. We beheld it with our own eyes. The stars Mithrad and Veshtar, in Roman language, Jupiter and Saturn. Both were in conjunction in the constellation called Pisces. The portent was unmistakable, Your Majesty. When did this conjunction occur? Two years ago. And it is your interpretation that the new king was born then? Perhaps then. Perhaps not until this year. But his star has appeared. There can be no doubt of that. I see. You will find him in Bethlehem. Go and search out carefully concerning the young child. At once, Your Majesty. And when you have found him... Yes, Majesty? Bring me word that I too may come and worship him. When they had heard the king, they went their way. And lo, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They fell down and worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold and frankincense and myrrh. The beasts are saddled. What's delaying Melchior? What always delays him? That turban? The turban. Well, a good day for traveling. Are the camels ready? 
ready and waiting as we've been. We'll be fortunate to reach the Valley of Acor before dark. With your consent, I would like to suggest that we change our return route. Oh? By going south, we can skirt the lower end of the Dead Sea and then turn east. That's a lot longer. But it avoids Jerusalem. Last night I had a dream. A most vivid dream. We were approaching King Herod. And suddenly a great shadow fell upon us. And as it passed, his face had become the face of a jackal. And his scepter had turned into a sword that dripped with blood. A warning. Definitely a warning. We'll take the road to the south. Open the curtain. But your majesty, the night air. Open this. Father. It's not quite so bright as it was, sire. That's brighter. Far brighter. Close the curtain. Sip of herb tea might ease your pain, sir. Those three from the west. Those three from the east. They haven't returned. No, sir. You're certain? Positive, sir. The watch has been instructed to inform me the moment they appear. They lied. They lied to me. Focus. Call whom, sire? Call Trocus. The captain of the mounted guard. Get Trocus. Hurry. Two years. Two years. It was two years, they said, wasn't it? They, sire? The stargazers from the east. Prophecy they read in the stars. When they first saw it. Two years ago, sir. Two years. The child couldn't possibly be older than that. Not at the most. No, sir. Your Majesty. Rouse your troop. You ride at once for Bethlehem. Aye, sir. And when you get there, kill every male child under the age of two. Go. As your majesty commands. Now the herb tea. Started, sir. An hour. They should be there in an hour. Or a little more. Yeah. Open the curtain. Tie it back. But the physician said. Tie it back. I want to see the star.
Mary. Mary. The baby. No, no, he's all right. He's sleeping fine. It's something else. What is it, dear? I had a dream, but it, it was more than a dream. The, the angel of the Lord appeared before me. He said, rise. Take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt. Egypt? And stay till I tell you. For King Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. It's all right, my dear. We'd better start back. Yes. Israel and fled to the south, to Egypt. 